Welcome back Doom fans, Lazy Hammer here. Now, Ultimate Doom Builder has two major modes, 2D and 3D mode. In this tutorial we will cover 2D and its four sub-modes, which are Line Def, Sector, Vertice and Thing. This will be a basic rundown of their uses, but this is also important as we will build on this knowledge later. Let's get started. Now here we have the smaller room we created in the last tutorial. Let's start from the top and work, work our way down. Vertex mode, which says right there. If that's hard to see, let's put this out. Vertices are these points on each corner. In this case, if we want to create a line like this, we have one vertice on either end. And while they do not, they are not the most used by me, they are important because they hold everything <laughs> together. In vertex mode we can, for instance, if we right click them, we can see where they are on the, on the grid. And these I've never used, so I'm not sure what those are. <laughs> we might go into those later. It's not important right now. But for now let's just agree that they keep things together to make a room like these this and unless you do something absolutely wrong this will always ha or turn off the grid lock they will always connect if you make four lines or even three that connects but to make a room where you can see the texture all, all lines must align with the vertex. To make this room a bit more exciting, maybe, when we are in vertex mode, hover around the, a node where our grid intersects with a line and press insert and you will get another vertex. If we make one at each, each intersection here, we can press, if we hover around this one, you will see it close yellow, then press delete, and we'll get a funny corner shape. We can do that, insert, 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 and then again when it's yellow marked, press delete, delete, delete. And this room is no longer four-sided, it is eight-sided. We doubled the, the lines, though some, one are, some of them are shorter than others. And speaking of lines, Let's go to line def. Um, shortcut for vertices is V. Line def shortcut is L. Or we can just click here, go back to vertices with shortcut, and then back to L to select line def. We are now in line def mode as shown here. We have eight vertices, eight line defs, eight side depth, one sector and one thing. We'll come back to those. This is a line. We created a line before. Three or four lines make a sector, which we will come back to. This is a line. It has two vertices that creates one line depth. Line depths also have a um, thing pointing out. 
this is the front side and then the opposite would be the back side that is important we will come back to that when we go into sectors for now let's right click on a line def and we suddenly everything becomes more exciting because here we have the first uh, tab has all flags and settings and actions and activations and identifications and tags. A lot of stuff happens here. <laughs> we, we will cover more of it as we uh, get to some of it. But here we can set line def actions like doors or uh, triggers. A lot of things happen here. You can make uh, door locks. Not this door, this uh, line. Or we, we can, but it would be a big door. A normal door is 128 or 72. No, excuse me, 64. By the in game textures. So. Uh, Five, uh, 500 something would be a big door. We can make one. Uh, let's ignore things here. We will come back to it, I promise. Like I said um, in the introduction, this will be a short introduction to them. We have the front and back. Front shows our current texture. We can go in and click it and change textures. Texture is this. These textures are chosen for, uh, are from the um, Doom Two WAD. It has those textures in it. I have added uh, an HD version, so this will look slightly better. A link to that will also be in the description for anyone wants wanting it. It is the standard textures that don't just look better. Look better. Let's keep the standard texture for now. We will go into changing texture proper later. Um, there are several things here we want to go into very much but it's there backside shows nothing because this is inside and this is outside this is called the void nothing lives here and in a room unless they connect to another uh, usable sector which will come in go, go into in a moment uh, this peg will always point inwards uh, we can comment stuff we can, uh, usually if you have a big map it's good to comment on stuff if you forget. Uh, and we have custom stuff, which we will not get into. Not uh, not in the basic tutorials anyway. We haven't done anything for now, so let's just cancel. Now we mentioned sectors this is a sector so let's go into sector mode i said sector mode sector mode uh, shortcut is s if we go back to line and press s we go into sector mode If I press H, we will see that it is in, se 
indeed a sector it shows everything inside this sector if there were more sectors here it would uh, show this sector but not the one inside i don't like to have this on unless i really need to let's press age again to remove it it still outlines every line def when we are inside the sector though when we are in sector mode and right clicking we will get a different but similar pop-up this is the sector part of things we have ceiling height and floor height unless you specified something else these will be the standards we can change floor and texture heights in the sector from here we can move uh, both up or down by using offset we might cover that later sector damages some other options here brightness gravity uh, sound sequences cover that maybe later and tags again tags we will cover later we have colors we have uh, that's uh, global lighting you can have light of different colors we won't cover that much in the basics but it's there surfaces you have top and bottom or floor and ceiling uh, textures which we have already seen from before this will not look oh yeah we can see it we can choose with which cardinal direction or even cross directions we want to, to be in that uh, that might be relevant depending on what texture you are using changing this we won't see it but that's the same texture offset uh, we can uh, move it by 16 for instance much useful can be done here slopes we will cover later we can again comment custom we will not cover much for now let's cancel out of it because we haven't actually done much of anything the last one we will slightly cover today until a later episode will be things which we can select and we have it are in thing mode we can go back to sector and press t to go back to thing mode and we already selected or made placed our player start so let's add a weapon to him let's close down player start and go back to weapon weapons are fun since this is doom 2 we have the super shotgun but i like the shotgun so let's give him the shotgun and again we have plenty of options here i will cover all of this in uh, or most of it in the uh, tutorials about things so we will not go into this right now but we have angles pitch and roll we, we will not go into much it's it will uh, will alter how it looks in game and uh, it should really look standard so let's keep those at, at uh, the right north changing the angles doesn't really do much with the shotgun I think it has a very basic uh, very basic um, 
image static it has has no different faces like like the player start or uh, or uh, monsters for instance we can with certain uh, things choose actions for it how it how it will appear for instance it might not want to appear before you have killed a certain enemy for instance we can also tag things we might come back to that again we can come and, and custom and all that let's press ok because we did add a shotgun Press C to deselect. We can select, but we will always select multiple things if we do that. So select, deselect. We can drag and select. That's fine. And those are the most common, um, or the uh, yeah, m most common sub um, modes of the 2d mode and like i said we will cover them in more detail later this has been your host the lazy gamer logging off bye guys <laughs>